The last time we were here, the Christmas tree was up there. This is Crystal Palace. We we like Crystal Palace for breakfast. Not so much for lunch and dinner though. Breakfast is very good. Huh? Breakfast is very good. Very good, yes. Hey Olaf's on stage. So we're gonna go I think we're gonna go ride the Pirates of the Caribbean. Since we have to be in Adventureland to ride the Jungle Cruise at 11.40. We have a fast pass for that. <laughs> Jump right out of there. Bye. Adventureland. Yes, they do. Sunshine Tree Terrace, that's where it is. The Dole Whip, there's the line for the Dole Whip. So we came to Columbia Harbor House and we got the trio, which is, you can see, you can see under Doug's. It's um, hush puppies, fish, chicken, and shrimp, and fries, and a soda. The receipt was here. Um, 36.30 is what it costs for two, everything I said, dang it. So yeah, Columbia Harbor House, if you want to use the restroom, they have one inside. You don't have to eat here to use it. It's cool inside here, so that's good. Um, and you can order your food ahead, which I highly suggest because the lines are crazy. So I'll let you know how it tastes. It's loud in here. Can be. Is the fish is a very very mild fish, so it was I liked it. Um, the chicken is okay. I don't know. It's not like the best chicken, but it's okay. The uh, excuse me, the um, hush puppies. They've got the right hush puppy flavor, so they're good. The fries are typical fries. Uh, the marinara is very horseradishy. Huh? Oh, the shrimp. The shrimp was good. I like the shrimp. But the shrimp tasted like what I could get out of the freezer at the grocery store and cook at home. The best part. Yeah, it's quick service. Some quick service is better than others. Um, but it sounded really good when we were hungry to have this. Right? The best part of this meal is out that window right there. And I don't know if you can see it, but we've got a view of Big Thunder, which is cool. Anyway, this that, that's the best part of this meal is being able to watch Big Thunder. Oh, and the seating here 
a lot of scenery, right? Yeah, just come upstairs if you can't find anything downstairs. Lots of seating up here. So the seating, thumbs up. The view, thumbs up. The food, what? It's cool, thumbs up. And the food is, it's okay. It'll fill you up. Okay, so we ate lunch. And now we're going to see about getting on the Liberty Bell. Where are we going? Big, big line, but that's okay. It's a big boat. Plenty of space. A lot of people here. That's okay. Okay, so nobody nobody was coming downstairs everybody was staying upstairs so we're gonna come downstairs see up there is covered but that's okay You keep our seat, honey. Hey Doug, uh, what time is the three o'clock parade? Uh, noon. I think the correct answer is noon. Three <laughs> fifteen. Depends on where you are. <laughs> it depends on where you're at. You would think it'd be three o'clock, but it might be down there. If it was a little bit of a the 3 o'clock, it was probably 315, 320. Yeah. We're going to go to the best place to get cool at Magic Kingdom. Where is that? I think you should guess. We'll see if you're right. Nobody in Disney is allowed. No men. Did you guess the people mover? Tomorrowland Transit Authority. If you did, then you were right. The coolest ride in the park. So we need to have a talk. This place is insane. This is insane. Aboard the Tomorrowland Transit Authority people mover. Quiet and 
carefree highway in the sky. We invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy your Grand Circle Tour of Tomorrowland. So, every ride has a fast pass wait line that is out the building. Along the way, you can preview many of the exciting places you want to be sure to enjoy today while visiting this land of tomorrow. It's crazy. The People Mover is the perfect vehicle for people watching. So keep your eyes peeled. Disney's dream for an experimental prototype community of tomorrow. Progress City was the inspiration for Epcot, and many of its forward-thinking ideas have been realized throughout Walt Disney World. You guys, there was a line, a huge crowd, at Carousel of Progress. Right? If your future includes shopping, then you'll want to visit Mickey Star Traders, where you'll find the greatest goods from around the galaxy. Yeah, everything's pretty crowded. Hey, Doug. Hey, Ron. You want to make out? <laughs> oh, wow. Did you hear him laugh at me? Did you hear that? He laughed at me. That went over like a lead balloon. Huh? Shouldn't they have that hidden? Yeah, you think. Normally, any construction is would have been funnier if you said, ooh, baby, but you know, he laughed at me. Back at the turn of the 20th century. There's Bay Lake Tower. Now it's gone. First presented at the New York World's Fair, this legendary circular theater celebrates the progress that has made our lives better. And who was that at the New York World's Fair? Great big, beautiful wow. tomorrow shining at the end of every day. Great big, beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day. It's a great big, beautiful tomorrow, and tomorrow's just a dream away. Hey Doug. Hey what? You wanna make out? Ooh, baby. <laughs> ah, redeemed. <laughs> okay, we are now, where are we? And then we've got, then we've got uh, Disney World. <laughs> We're at Epcot. Magic Kingdom was just too much. We're at the golf resort. The golf resort? Golf ball world. Yeah, Magic Kingdom was was too much. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta stop moving and let people walk around you. Because they're going so fast, they're gonna knock you over. Okay. So we looked at the app and the uh, wait times for like everything over here was under 30 minutes. So we thought, uh, let's go to Epcot. Spaceship Earth or Huh? Spaceship Earth sure isn't. Yeah, but it's not as bad as uh, Magic Kingdom anything was. Okay, so we, we are, see it's 10 minutes. We're gonna go over to um, Nemo. Uh, so I'm just sitting out here waiting for Doug and like I said we decided to come over to Epcot because Magic Kingdom was crazy insane so ah look there he is We've made a little bit of progress on the app with our our uh, room. It's uh, it actually shows 
a spot for a room now and it says to check back. Before there was nothing there. It just, it would just spin and spin and spin. So that's progress. Honestly, if we had, if we had our room right now, we would probably go swimming, right? The pool looked really good when we passed by it. We were on the monorail. But now we will just go watch Nemo swim around. That'll be good. <laughs> mine. It's mine, right, Doug? Mine. 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 mine.
so this is a room tour. We're at the Grand Floridian DVC Villas and we are in room 1414. It's a Lakeview room. So this is the entrance. Sorry, that loud noise. Um, here's the bathroom. It's a very nice bathroom. Hmm. Oh, there's this side. Sorry about that. Nice bathroom. H2O products. Kind of dark in there, but. Oh, there's a TV. There's a TV in the mirror. Which was on when we got here. Somebody was here watching, watching television. Somebody was here watching television. Here's the closet. There's a blow dryer up there and an iron extra pillow and blanket and it says extra pillow and blanket <laughs> some robes okay here's the other side of the bathroom and they are blocked off so that you can take a shower or brush your teeth or whatever and use the restroom separately so that's nice just like on the cruise ships yeah the other side I know I opened that side too <laughs> And here's, oh, I'm sorry. I, I It was completely lost on me that there's two showers in here. <laughs> yeah, so there's a shower there, and there's a bathtub and shower here. I don't know why. Guys, did you catch it before I did? <laughs> uh, that's awesome. We could both take a shower at the same time. Well, I mean, you know, besides the obvious way. You know, the, the G-rated way. You know what I mean? Take shower separately at the same time. Yes, separately at the same time. There's a refrigerator, a mini fridge, a sink, coffee maker. Although they have an espresso downstairs, so I don't think I'll be having Mr. Coffee. I think I'll be having Nespresso. Microwave. Full-length mirror. Guys, I know, I know that there is a there is a pretty awesome bathroom there. You know, two separate showers and a tub and all that, but the best is yet to come. I promise you. Okay. Here's the bed. And the um, AC control. Or heat, but we're Florida, so. Look at the size of that TV. Nice. Look at that. It's been a while since we've been inside one of the Grand Floridian Villas. Yes, That's very nice. And there is a table and chairs. Do those open, Doug? Oh, that's right. That's a bed. I remember that. Look, open it up. Look what's inside. Oh, Dumbo. Sweet dreams. That's awesome. Look at that. Okay. As I said, table and chairs. Some... Uh, coffee tables and a sofa which I would lay you odds is also a bed okay are you ready are you ready for this balcony I bet you aren't I'm trying to surprise you oh and there is a ceiling fan up there I'm really trying to surprise you I'm trying to sus make it suspenseful look at that look at that we have a view of Space Mountain. I can see Tomorrowland. And there's Bay Lake Tower and Oh yeah, you can see the top of the castle over the over the building there. And look at this. Look at this. We have a view of the wedding chapel and the villas and the Polynesian. This is an awesome room. And look at the size of this balcony. Hi, Doug, you're way over there. Hi, way, way, way over there. Yes, I know, it's so far away. The weather is different on that side, isn't it? Is it snowing over there? Because it's beautiful over here. <laughs> okay, enough silliness. So this is our room, 1414. I, I suggest you get it if you can, because it's beautiful. 
And see, you hear that music? That means two things. One, when the um, parade, the light parade comes by, we'll hear the music. And I was going to say that we'll hear the music from Wishes, but I'm not sure if that's true. And is it called Wishes still? I'm not sure. But anyway, from the fireworks, I was thinking we might hear it. We might. We mm. might. Although tonight we probably won't be here. We're going to be over at Wilderness Lodge, so we won't find out tonight. Maybe tomorrow night. Maybe tomorrow night. Find out what time they go off and come out here. But isn't this nice? We have chairs. We can just sit here. I guess we should call for our um, luggage. But yeah. Okay, guys. All right. I got to stop. I got to stop. You've seen the room. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And laminate floors. It's fit for royalty. I love the art. Look at the art. This is awesome. I, I love the um, the mural in the bed. Dumbo. That's that's really cool. Mary Poppins and the Happiest Millionaire Songbook. The Sherman Brothers. Oh look, here comes the boat. And there's the monorail off in the distance. Wow, this is a fantastic room. I'm very excited. I'm just gonna sit out here at night and watch the lights. Look at that. The ferry, monorail, bus. Wow. So somebody's getting married. We could watch the wedding. They probably wouldn't want us to, but like, hey, private ceremony here. But we saw them at the Grand taking pictures. Oh, you might have seen them. They were getting pictures when we got off the monorail. And that is probably where they're going to get married right there. Isn't that cool? That's so cool. This is a beautiful property, guys. A very beautiful property. Okay, but I'm gonna stop going on and on about how beautiful it is. No, you're not. Yeah, I am, I am. I'm very excited. We get this for three days and I love it. I love it, I can't believe everything we can see. Look at the monorail going behind Bay Lake. Well, it's actually going towards it, but whatever. And we can even see the top of the Wilderness Lodge. That's where we're having dinner. Oh, we can take a boat over there. Awesome. Okay, I'm saying awesome way too much. I need to come up with some better words. Better descriptive words. Shoot, what are they? Well, what did Crush say? <laughs> what did Crush say? Sweet. No, he sees Crush uses awesome a lot. Awesome and sweet. I want to stop using awesome. I use it too much. Having a s'mores. <laughs> s'mores. Hi. <laughs> Oh, we're going to dinner, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you. S'mores. They're having a cookout. So this is fun, this little uh, splash area. When the top hat gets full, it tips over. There's wedding reception. Let's not walk up there. I don't know if we can walk that way. Let's walk around this way. She's like, don't come up here, please. She's, she's the pit bull. <laughs> Keep everybody out. So we're going over to the uh, boat to go to the wilderness lodge. Heidi! And this is a reception. Actually, oh no, that that might be the. I was gonna say it might be the wedding rehearsal because it's Friday. The wedding might be tomorrow. The wedding, the wedding dress and stuff.
Yeah, if they're in the, their wedding clothes, obviously it must be their reception. Isn't the grand, grand? Doug's going this way. The pool over here is really nice too. It's pretty big. So like I said, we're going to the boat dock to take the boat over to the Wilderness Lodge to go to Whispering Canyon for dinner. Our reservation is at seven, what time is it? So we have 45 minutes to get there. Oh look, Snow White's asleep. There's Narcoosie's. That used to be like our favorite restaurant, huh? But I don't know, the last few times we went, it just didn't seem as good. You know, and as much as you pay for a meal, it should be very good. It should be excellent. Cause I think we were paying probably a minimum of 60 each. But anyway, that's Narcoosie's. And once upon a time, it was our, once upon, once upon a time, it was our absolute favorite. It was very good. I always got surf and turf and Doug got surf and turf and I took his lobster and he took my, tur my turf. I took his surf, he took my turf and we were happy. <laughs> and I think our average meal there was probably about 170 or $180. So, I mean, you know, it's, a, it's, not, it's not cheap for sure. It's not inexpensive. So it should be an excellent experience.